Hi, Treas Roberto, and this is another update. I realized when I, when I was recording the, the last session that the sound was off, so I'm going to have to do this again. So um, bear with me. We're going to start with the Euro Australian dollar. This is the update on the trades that were taken a little while ago, about an hour ago. We have Turnaround Tuesday in play. We have the Euro Aussie dollar. Remember, the market was in a downtrend all week. Then we had the Sunday to Monday retracement. This is what happens every week. And then now we're coming into the Asian session and the markets do what? They retrace. So we're looking for a retracement, not very much of a retracement because we're, the market looks like it wants to turn around. Remember this was the, the sell-off from last week all the way to Friday. Then market took a dip and it surprised me because I, I expected the market to continue from the Forks Friday and turn around and head, keep going north and it didn't. It took a dip but it recovered and we still had that Sunday to Monday retracement. Now notice that we have this color change candle and it's hitting a previous, not a previous resistance, what it's hitting is a Fibonacci level of 50% and that is the level of resistance that we should expect market to reverse and it should go down to at least 138.40 or rather 138.99 that's the, the support level and that's substantial pips that's about 100 pips right so let's go to the other pairs uh, euro Aussie dollar let's look at the one hour chart euro New Zealand dollar rather we have market again hitting 38% retracement level if we change the Fibonacci tools and draw it from this swing point to the swing low then that's 68% right at an R2 pivot point overlapping pivot point 38 61% retracement level and it's just sitting there it's not going anywhere and if it breaks above this level if we have a candle that closes above then yes we may have to reevaluate and possibly um, exit the trade at this swing point which is 169.19 okay and again just if you're going to trade all these pairs you're going to be overexposed so just trade and just take 40 50 pips out of each one remember the target is about 100 pips on each trade let's move on pound new zealand dollar same thing we have a color change candle price doesn't look like it wants to go up any higher we're coming into the asian session and this is what normally happens before the Asian session, before the market takes a direction. There's a lot of consolidation. And I'm looking and I'm hoping the market does turn around because it technically should go down. We have turnaround Tuesday. We have Sunday to Monday retracement. And then the market hopefully will just go back down. And again, be cautious. Just put your stop loss above the swing high. And I would do 20, 30 pips above this level. It, it is at R2 level, and hopefully it will go back down to the main pivot point. Um, pound Aussie dollar, starting to show weakness. Notice this red candle. We have false breaks to the top. Price is at 61% retracement level. And we don't have any high-impact news coming out in the next few days, so I feel comfortable just taking this trade. Um, and that's it. Those are the only trades I'm recommending. I'm not going to be trading the yen crosses because... There, it's just so volatile right now. There's no direction. You see the markets is just consolidating. And I'm just going to wait till the Asian session and send an update maybe in a couple of hours if I see this strength or weakness in the end crosses. Okay, so remember tomorrow is Tuesday and Wednesday. We have uh, the workshop from 8 to 11. Trade room is open. And I'm on vacation for the rest of the week. Um, but I'll still be sending updates video, um, and signals via email. So have a good week. Thanks for watching the webinar, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.